Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Somebody pointed out that my yesterday's episode intro said moisturizers instead of vaporators and I feel like a noob. <laughs> I think I conflated moisture farms with the vaporators and so instead of saying vaporators which inhabit moisture farms I said moisturizers which you know the point gets across. <laughs> oh, but I feel like an idiot. It's fine. But no, that was really funny. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> but yes, we, we were going after a vaporator. <laughs> anyway, today we finally are going to come out here and find Dang Nap Mission's brother, even if it kills us. So I hope you all enjoy, and I'll see you in a second. Okay. What? Let's see. Hey there. What? Uh, never mind. Okay. She's she's dual wielding pistols, and I don't want her. She shouldn't. She shouldn't be doing that. Um. Sith assassin pistol. She can't use any of those. She can use this, I guess. I don't know. I think this is good for her. Yeah, the one she's got on is good. He probably is, poor Zobler. He doesn't get any of those. Oh yeah, sure, you can have one of those. And... Okay, that's not bad, I think. Oh, never mind, it is not great. 11 to 20, oh, that's the Akani foil. The Akani foil is 21. Okay, these are double. These are two-handed, though. So if we give him... That. And then... Oh, no, no. Nothing there. Okay. Let's just save again while I did that. This is gonna be rough. What happened to the Star Wars D&D game I was playing? Frick, if I know. It just kind of stopped. The guy who was running it um, got really busy with school and stuff. And it's just never come back, so I was kind of bummed. Uh, all the D&D games I played just kind of stuttered to a halt. I haven't played in forever. Everyone got busy. This is the way, this is the way it goes sometimes. I even still have them in my calendar. I should probably just take them out. Okay, so the regular place is just called the Dune Sea, but this is the East Dune Sea over here. Specifically, and now we can get through. Maybe question mark. Hopefully, I'm hoping we can just find Mission's brother and then and then put Mission back on the ship. Honestly, all right, there we go. We had to just be friends with the Sand Dune people. A dew bag? Okay. Okay. I thought I had the map to this place. Oh, jeez. There's my inventory. Here's to be the personal journal. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, this is different. 
I didn't read this, but I, I thought I did. Well, last entry explains what he was doing on Kashyyyk. This is that Gunhan. You guys might not remember. I remember because I just watched the episodes. But um, there's a certain armor set I picked up that ha that came from a Jedi that we found in like a pile near where that big creature was that I killed. Um, that was like blocking the way for the for the renegade Sith to escape. And I read a journal entry, and I thought it was Gunhan Suresh. But maybe it was, because I think it might have been actually Duran's armor, because um, the the thing was is that apparently Gun Han was like upset that Duran and Shayla were both Jedi have given into their passion for each other. They are doomed to fall out of the dark side. I tried to warn them against expressing their love, but they called me arrogant and accused me, me, of being the one on the dark path. I left the fools on Korriban. Yeah, okay. Oh, this was on... Okay, this explains what he was doing on Kashyyyk. Okay, I got Kashyyyk and Korriban mixed up for a second because they both start with K. And I haven't freaking read this, apparently. But so I picked up Duran's journal in Korriban. And I'm not about to abandon the mandate given me by Jedi Council. I will destroy the Terran Tentek, which are the, the, the force eating monsters, wherever I find them. Heard a rumor that such beasts may exist in the Shadowlands of Kashyyyk. Well, and then he died, and he was, I think the journal was found in, uh, in the poop. <laughs> no, it was found in the remains, but. Oh, hey, for Prefect. Oh, a map to this place? Oh, dang, okay. Well, here we go. <laughs> anyway, I'll just read it. I'll just read what I've got. Apparently, I haven't read these. Rivers part. Uh, freak, I don't know. Mandalorian, what? The hunt is no challenge. An unarmed creature is trying to use these Jedi toys. You want new warriors to learn. Watching a comrade lop his own arm off, fighting a real opponent would teach more than these pointless battles. I obey Mandalore, but with protest. The, blend the blending field generators and the swoops grant near perfect clam camouflage. Why only attack unarmed opponents? I don't know what that was from. Um... Okay. I have recorded the coordinates from the star map you found on Dantooine into a data pad. Cool. Kashyyyk. Manon. I've read some I've read some of these. I don't know why some of these are outlined in purple and some of them are not. Oh my ear. Alright, okay, you're right. So I got a map out to here, but it doesn't necessarily mean I will be able to find anything. Because if I find that dragon with this squad, things aren't going to go well. I need Candorous at the very least. What is that? Is that the town? What that's supposed to be. It's just a giant expanse of nothing. There's the Star Wars Holiday Special. Uh, they call it Kashyyyk Kashuk at first. I mean, I'm all about mispronouncing names, but that seems a bit silly. That's the cave. Do I can I go out there? I came in. I thought, that's, I thought that's the direction I came from, but it's not. I don't think. Oh, it's not. Okay, this doesn't, like, go here. There is a path over here. Okay. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is a dragon cave. Are you Twi'lek? You look kind of like a Twi'lek from here, maybe. Oh, you're not Mission's brother. I'm tired of waiting, Comad. How big can this dragon of yours be? You, I'm you can in. see it from here! It's massive! Ah! Well, he got eaten. Dang it. Wasn't Mission's brother supposed to be out here? Although, to be fair, I couldn't imagine Mission's brother being out here fighting a dragon. 
Um, yeah. Working on the Zerka Corp mines. Uh, I know, the crate dragon just seemed like it was like, blah. Look, that's an actual legit dragon. Like, look at that. Okay, you know, I'll talk to you later. I don't want to talk to you right now. I need to go find the brother. See, is it? <laughs> oh, it's not. Okay, it's going to be. Okay. I can't. I can't be fighting with this squad. This squad is just. Just for talking to missions, brother. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go look. I mean, I feel like I've been most places on Tattoo Ho oh Boy. Oh, I have not explored this area much at all. Apparently. But now, now I'm curious, like, maybe, maybe if I defeat, I don't know, like, if he's working in the mines, like, maybe I need to find the mines, but I haven't been able to find them yet. So I'm just going to be more and more things that open up. Okay, let's... Come on. Are we frozen in place? Is that what's... Uh, oh. What? I paused it. Or it paused because of the, the things. I got something in my eyeball. Oh, jeez. Is this a pathway to somewhere? Oh, you're supposed to talk to Zerka and find out where he is and then get him free in exchange for the vaporators? Oh. What? But there was like no option ever. Maybe maybe there just wasn't an option back when I did it. Oh dang. Well, if I'm screwed, that's too bad, but I can uh, go back. Or I can just not get her brother. Like, oh well, I'm not gonna slaughter the sand people for missions like half baked brother. A toilet corpse? Oh no. Oh no. I'm here. Oh god. I would think if Measure would recognize that. Oh boy. <laughs> if that was her brother. Okay, this is that the far side of their enclave. All right. Let's see if I. Uh, I'm gonna have to like haul all the way back out here, but um. Let's go see if I can talk. Jerka Corporation, a. I thought I could go find him in a mine or something, but apparently not. Uh, or in the bar. Let's see. Greetings again from um, the office. Looking for a miner named Griff. Griff? Uh, there's no Griff here. Never heard of him. No, I, I don't remember a single grip on the Zerka Corporation payroll. Are you certain of that? I would leave sooner if I knew. Oh, you mean that Twi'lek. Must have slipped my mind for a second. Yes, of course I remember Griff. We hired that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. He entered false timesheets and slept through his shifts. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove it. 
So you fired him? We would have fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the sand people wouldn't have gotten him. The sand people? He was lost in a sand people raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost effective to keep searching. All miners sign a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of liability. Oh, wow, okay. So your workers are expendable? Zerka Corporation cares deeply for all of its employees. That's why we've started a bounty program to thin the sand people numbers. We didn't find his body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all I can tell you. I shouldn't even have said this much. This is all privileged corporate information. I could lose my job. Uh... I don't know why I ask you something else. Very well. Though I do have work to get back no, to. No, 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 no. Oh, oh! I can put <laughs> the gaffy sticks I took. Oh, okay. Um, I'll do that later, I guess. Farewell. Uh. Okay. This is uh, this is turning into a bit of a nightmare. Shit's brother. Hmm, maybe I can go back. Oh, dang, I can't, like, fast travel back to where I was. Yeah, now I need to try, because I, cause I went to the captives area, and he wasn't there. Like, I would have noticed a tree lick named Griff, you know? So, okay. Well, because, like, before there wasn't an option to ask about Griff, or I would have, maybe, maybe I had to have mission with me? I don't know. Or maybe I just, like, there was, like, something that I triggered that I hadn't triggered when I first got here. I don't know. There seems to be a lot of confusion about this quest on the web. Okay, good. So it's not just me. Not just me messing things up. So there must have been something that had to have triggered, like, when you first get here. Oh, or good, when you first get here, maybe you don't have the option to talk about Griff, but there's something you do out here that you're supposed to go back and talk to the Zerka lady. He'll be fine. I'm sure she'll get over her brother. Wow, this is so roundabout, too. This is a weird one. I hope all the rest aren't this weird. Oh, my gosh. Where's my sand speeder? Can't remember that much about Griff's quest. Well, I'm sure it's not like super like impactful, but are those miners or yeah, those are miners. Those were I don't think those guys were out here before. Like they like left, they like ran away. Cause they were scared. I guess I'm lucky to be alive. Okay. No more of oh. this for me, that's oh, for sure. sure. And a teenage girl. <laughs> like, what the heck? What has gotten into you? <laughs> oh my gosh. Go, go, go. Enemies everywhere. I can't say go, go, go without saying enemies everywhere. I'm contractually obligated. Bantha fodder. I feel like that might be useful in some context later, but I don't think it would work for the dragon. I think it would just work for the banthas. Hold the line. I will destroy you. I know. Oh my gosh. Uh, no, we're good. You know, for a long time, I thought it was my companions saying those things sometimes, but. I'm pretty sure all I can remember is uh, Caden's bag him and tag him. <laughs> like at the end of a fight. Bag him and tag him. The fate of the hands, the fate of the world in the hands of teenage girls is, the mo is most Joss Whedon productions? Yeah. It's also most animes, honestly. Someone has to fill in for Lemonsy, is that what you're doing? 
She's busy. She's busy uh, selling turnips. It's hard work. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Yeah, you're recording a playthrough of Mass Effect Trilogy for YouTube. Did you get used to that? Yep. Oh, is this? Yeah. Okay. It's uh, it's a hoot. Uh, whoops. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I have questions. Oh shoot, I forgot. Oh no! Oh, they're angry! Oh, okay, well, I forgot. Whoops, 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 whoops. Load game. It is so good. That I... Whoopsie daisy. I knew this was gonna happen. I was like, okay, if I don't have HK, I just gotta remember to not try to talk to the sand people. And then I completely forgot. That I still had them. Because I wasn't planning on going back into the base with these two. It's a good thing I did the whoop save. Because they got real mad at me. I just gotta... Do I... Can I do it? Nope, I gotta do it out here. We'll be right, we'll be right back! <laughs> Hold on, I have to Star Trek teleport one of my companions in. Remove, and we'll add you. Okay. Alright, here we go. Here we go. New, 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 new going in. We're new. We're new. we're starting afresh. I like the music here. All right, I'm gonna save again though, just cause I'm paranoid. Uh, whoops. All right. Uh, ask about captives. Oh. Ask if you know about missions, brother Griff. Translation. Translation. He says that by his very presence, this Griff defiles their home and land. He is without any semblance of usefulness to them. Yep, that would be Griff. Extrapolation. I would assume we are free to take him. It is doubtful they will even waste the effort to oh. kill him. Perhaps we could do it, Master. Um. Okay, bye for now. Translation. I'm not gonna. Translation. We are free to leave. I'm not gonna push my luck with the Jawas, but this feels a bit too easy. Like, they really, they captured him, but that, like, he's so useless, I don't even want to kill him? Oh, look! Fancy meeting you here! Uh, you there. I'm, uh, I'm a high-ranking executive at the Zerka Corporation. Uh, there's a big reward if you take me back to Anchorhead. Griff, don't you recognize With this me? Star Trek on my it's face? Mission. mission? Is it really you? I heard Taurus was destroyed. I, I thought you were dead. Oh, joy of joys, my little sister is alive. I have to ask you something, Griff. It's right, we're gonna do this right here? Into Lena. She, she said it was your idea to leave me on Terrace. It isn't true, is it? Uh, well, uh, there's the truth and then there's the truth, you know? I, I always meant to go back to Taurus, sis, just as soon as I had the credits to pay off my debts. But credits have been hard to come by. You mean it's true? It was your idea to leave me there? I'm your sister. How could you abandon me like that? Come on, sis. You didn't need me to look after you anymore. Y you may have been young, but you knew how to take care of yourself. Besides, you're here now. I mean, everything worked out fine. That's it? That's all you have to say to me after all these years, after deserting me on Terrace? Well, that and, uh, could you please get me out of here? You got a tough-looking friend there. The sand people said you can go, I think. I don't even know if they actually said that. I think HK might be messing with me. I don't know. Run to Anchorhead. Yeah, you can find your way from there, right? Can you manage that? What? Is there something else? Uh, well, I, I, I wanted to <gasps> thank you. And, um, you look like you're doing well. Uh, financially, I mean. Say, um, could you spare me a few credits to get back on my feet? You're hitting me up for credits. I don't believe this. Lena was right about you, Griff. We should have just left you to the sand people. Don't talk to me anymore. Ever. Hmm. That didn't go well. Sis was always a little too fiery for her own good. 
She'll cool down in time. Yeah, okay. Don't be so sure. Uh, she'll be okay. We had our fights before. Too bad, though. I really could have used a helping hand right now. You may have saved my life, but... I no! It's my name. Say, you wouldn't be able to spare me some credits uh, just till I get back on my feet, you know? Uh, forget it. You're nothing but a deadbeat. Huh. I, uh, guess you've been talking to Lena, too. That's okay. I'll figure out a way to get by without your credits. I always do. Besides, uh, I've already got a job lined up for me. Krita, the manager over at the Zirkus Supply Shop, said I could come work for him if I ever get tired of the mines. Yeah, I think I'll go take him up on his offer. How do people you keep know, doing maybe that? there's something else you can help me with. I need to no! talk to person set up the details, but if you're interested in a job, come see me in Greta's shop. Goodbye, Mission. Uh, I'm glad you're not dead. Hmm. Oh my gosh, what a what a dweeb. What a dweeb! The only reason Mission's alive, probably, although she's honestly pretty good on her own, but, like, the only reason she's probably, like, doing okay is because she had Zalbar. But, yeah, anyway. <laughs> All right, that was easier than I thought, but I could still go uh, take out this Durgan, I guess. Um, and I'm definitely gonna like switch out. No, nope. uh, remove and and should I bring? HK or Jolie? Probably HK. I just, I guess if I, if I stick to healing, we should be fine. But, hello Chris, how's it going? <laughs> How can he be so douchey to me? I know! He's just, just a deadbeat. She had him idolized, you know? Because she was young and thought he was, like, everything. But turns out he's just, like, a little bit of a... Just just a scum... Like, not even a scumbag. He's just, like, a slime ball. Like, he just doesn't... Like, even his voice is annoying. Mm, you're good? Yeah, nice! <laughs> Me? I'm good, too. <laughs> I'm just drinking some soda. Mm. I'm playing some Star Wars. But we, were, we had a... We had a moment... Where we were worried that that whole thing was gonna blow up in our faces, but it turns out, yeah, it was pretty easy. Brothers, eh? They're always friggin' asking you for money. Good thing I don't have any. Alright, well, I just got four sisters. <laughs> I don't know why I keep checking the map. I'm heading straight for it. It's been so nice outside lately. I'm so happy. Oh, that reminds me. I, I looked outside and now I should check. Yeah, I, I only have like a little bit more time left. Did I just... What? Why are there so many toilet corpses? Or is this the same one? Okay. I was like, what? He did have, to, did have to look after his sister while in poverty on a hostile racist world. Well, you think he could have like, you know... I, I don't know, Mission's the one who ended up seeming to be okay. Like, she ended up being able to take care of herself. I guess it would it would be hard. Like, you make a fair point, but, like, in the end, he didn't actually, like, do anything. Like, he barely kept them out of poverty when it's not that. And the other thing is that, like, he's afraid of hard work. Like, somebody like that, like, you know, you would think would end up being... Did I save? I don't remember. Um... Uh, dragon. Like, you would think they would, like, hopefully at least, like, learn to, like, grow and, like, be able to take care of both himself and Mission at least a little bit better and, like, not be afraid of hard work. But it just seems like he refuses to, like, work hard. He wants to, he wants to get rich quick, which, again, is understandable. Like, if you've been in poverty, like, you just want, you just want to stop being in poverty, but... And sometimes hard work doesn't help, you know? You can work as hard as you want, you'll still be poverty-stricken, but... Still. It's it's interesting, the differences between him and Mission. Right? You right? <laughs> Poor Prefect, you bring up a good point! He's enough of a scumball that even the same people don't think he's worth killing, and they kill lots of people! 
<laughs> You're right. He's so worthless, even the same people won't kill him. He's so bright, like the sun. He should become... Sure, sure. I mean, I'm here too. It's not hard to see. Maybe be douche in a more nice way. Yeah, yeah. Why do the Twi'leks all sound like they're gonna scam me? Uh, this is an honor. Why do you want help? Right, cool. It's an extra super large dragon. He looks so disappointed. I mean, you bring up a good point, Rain, for sure. But like, even like, even even a background like that doesn't excuse the like harm he's caused. You know, like it, it it's in they there there are reasons potentially for his actions, but it doesn't like excuse like what he's done to mission. I mean, he hasn't really done anything like terrible, honestly. And he, I don't I don't think he's like honestly really like hurt people with his actions. He's just like a low level scumball. <laughs> Uh, oh, give me more information about how. Oh, okay. I have Bantha fodder. Will that help? Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I could place more mines too! Oh, oh, I lure the Banthas here! Right, not an excuse for his actions, just more trying to figure out his character, out the character. No, that's fair. That's very fair. Like, you know, trying to figure out why somebody's acting the way they are. That doesn't seem sporting. What are we, British? That doesn't seem sporting. What, what? Uh... I have it. I have some. Uh, I have some. Okay. What are you telling me? Oh, no! We must engage the dragon in a game of cricket. Yeah, more sand people have dealt with their kind before. Okay. Why am I doing most of the legwork? Okay. Okay, I don't need you anymore. Bye bye. No, I'm gonna kill for myself. Oh boy. We Mandalorians believe in loyalty what? to our brothers in arms. You have allied yourself to this hunter. Betraying him now is disgraceful. What? This is not what I expected! Uh, oh, oh, okay. It's too late. Preparing oh, he's gonna freaking... Oh, okay, well, alright. Ah. Ah. I can't I can't handle it if Candorus is mad at me. I'll be sad. Since I'm secretly romancing him in my heart. Unless it was for like a dumb reason. I actually I mean I technically I hadn't even allied with the guy. I was just like trying to get information from him. I didn't say, yes, let's do this together. He just threw information at me. Uh, okay, maybe I just tried to take the dragon out myself without talking to him. I don't know if it's possible, but we're gonna try. 
I have the biggest heart romancing every character in every game. Listen, Kendra is hot, all right? And he's like a big bad guy. But like not not too bad, only like mostly bad. Why are we not talking to him? Do we not like him? This guy. Well, I feel like if we start talking to this guy, we'll, he will um he will freaking like assume that we have to help him. The only option I could get out of the, the way to get out of the conversation was to refuse to help him at the end. Or to give him the bantha fodder, which if I give him the bantha fodder, we're potentially gonna like anger the sand people. Although to be fair, it's a different tribe of sand people than the one I've allied with. So maybe we can do it, but first I wanna try and kill this guy by myself. <laughs> Chewed human corpse. It's a pretty dragon. Get wrecked! Oh no, is it gonna insta kill me? Oh no, it's gonna insta kill me! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay. So you have no option. You have to do it. No. It wasn't even five seconds. That was like. Oh my gosh. And with that lovely attempt, we're gonna end it there. So look forward to uh, an actual dragon fight next episode instead of me just trying to shortcut the system and the system slapping me in the face. So I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.